Hey guys, this is SLE number seven, the distributive property. So remember to distribute, you're going to deal with parentheses of some sort. So the distributive is another word for multiplication. And then we have some special cases we're going to talk about. I think uh, yesterday we actually talked about a special case, but we'll see some more today. All right, so if we remember when we distribute, so I'm going to highlight. Remember, oops, let's take a better color. That negative 5 right there is going to distribute over. I cannot go 3 subtract 5. I need to go distribute here and here. So this 3 comes straight down. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Negative 5 times 3 is going to be negative 15x. And we're not actually solving this. We're just going through and taking care of the math. These are like terms, so three. I have three dollars in my pocket. I see something that costs twenty dollars, so I owe seventeen. And this is as far as we get because we don't have an equal sign, so we're not really solving this any further. And then on this one, we're going to distribute half over. We're not worrying about clearing the denominator on this. Half of twenty is ten, so I get ten a. Half of twenty-four is twelve. And then remember, I need to distribute this negative because there's a negative preceding. That's going to give me negative 8a minus 4. Find these like terms, so I get 2a, and these are like terms, plus 8. Now we're going to solve. What's the difference between the ones previous and these? There's equal signs, so we know we're going to solve. So we want to do the distributive property first. So on this first one, I'm going to go 3 times x to give me 3x. Plus sign stays the same. 3 times 4 is 12 equals 18. The dotted pink line represents the equal sign. I'm going to do the opposite of positive 12, which is negative 12. They cancel out. This is left with 3x over here. 18 minus 12 is 6. 3 and x are being held together by multiplication. What undoes multiplication? That would be division. So I'm going to wind up with x equals 2. Problem number 2. What do you want to distribute over? Yes, the 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times negative x is negative 4x plus 3x equals 12. Well, if you remember the last lesson, these are my like terms. So I want to combine them together first because they're on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to get 8 minus x equals 12. Now we're going to go ahead and start solving this with my pink line. I'm going to, that's a positive 8, subtract 8, subtract 8. So I get negative x equals 4. Let's get rid of the negative on the x. So I'm going to multiply this side by negative 1 and this side by negative 1. So I get x equals negative 4. There you go. Problem number 3. The big thing that we wanted to take care of is I want to distribute negative 2 over the parentheses. Do not go 12 minus 2. Okay, that's going to get you a wrong answer. So the negative 2 goes to both of those. So I get 12 minus 2a minus 12 is equal to 8. My friends, do I have like terms? Are these like terms? They are. 12 minus 12 is 0. So I wind up getting 2a equals 8 because those were complete opposites. They just cancel each other out. Now I'm going to put my dotted pink line. That means the equal sign. Divide each side. Negative 2 and a are being held together by multiplication. We're going to use division to undo it. So I'm going to get a equals negative 8 over 2 is 4. Problem number 4. Remember we're going to distribute the negative. Make sure you carry that negative with you on this. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 equals whatever we have on the other side. That's just coming along for the ride. This is like the ones we did the other day. We have a choice. Do you want to add 2y to both sides? Do you want to add 12 to both sides? Do you want to subtract 3y from both sides? Or do you want to add 7 to both sides? I would choose to 
bring the 2y over by adding 2y. Okay, those are opposite values, so they cancel each other out. So now I'm going to add 7 to both sides because that's opposite of negative 7. So I'm going to get, uh, what is that, negative 5 is equal to 5y. 5 and y are being held together by multiplication. So to undo multiplication, we're going to divide both sides by 5. And so my answer is going to be over here. I'm going to get y equals negative 5 over 5, so it's negative 1. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Remember, I'm going to distribute the negative 2 over the parentheses first. I'm not going to go 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 will get you the wrong answer. So negative 2 times x, negative 2 times 6. The 5 comes down. Negative 2x, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, equals 4x plus 8 minus 6x. Looking at both sides, it appears that I have like terms. Attention faculty, staff, and students. Uh, based on information we got with an activity that is going on off campus, we are going to go into a secure perimeter. So if you are students who are in the building, you should stay in the building. Okay, so we have like terms. So 5 minus 12. I have $5. I want to buy something that costs $12. So that means I'm going to owe 7. The minus 2x comes straight down. Then I have over here, I have a 4x minus 6x. So I know I'm going to have an x. I have $4 in my pocket. Something costs $6. So I'm going to have that be minus 2x plus 8. Now we can choose what we want to do. Do I want to add 7 to both sides? Or do I want to add 2x to both sides? Or do I want to add the other 2x to both sides? Or do I want to subtract 8? Well, I'm noticing that I have a minus 2x on both sides. So watch what happens here. This and this cancel. So is negative 7 equal to 8? No, that's nonsense. So this is no solution. Or you could use a 0 with a, a diagonal through it. That means no solution. Okay. The next problem we're going to try. Oops, I don't want that one. I want a highlighter. I'm going to distribute half over the parentheses, and then over here I'm going to distribute negative 3 over the parentheses. So half's going to go here, here. What's half of 4? Yeah, it's 2, so I get 2x. What's half of 8? I get 4. Equals, the 6 comes down. I'm going to distribute the 3 over the parentheses. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x plus 5x. It looks like I have like terms on the right side, so I'm going to keep this side the same. And these are like terms, so that gives me negative 6. And these are like terms, and that's going to give me plus 2x. Now we're ready to start moving things back and forth. Okay, do I want to... Do I want to subtract 2x? Do I want to subtract 4? Do I want to add 6 or subtract 2x? Let's subtract 2x from both sides. Those cancel those. So I get 4 equals negative 6. That's also no solution. Let's see, did I do that right? Half, that's 2x. 4, that's negative 12. That's negative 3. And then 6 minus 12. Yeah, I did it right. So that's also a no solution. If you wanted to get one, let's see, do I have one? Oh, I bet you we're going to find one here. <clears throat> so those are two no solutions. So next one, we have parentheses. I want to take care of that first. I'm going to multiply negative 6 over the parentheses, and on this one I'll multiply negative 2 over the parentheses. So when I multiply 6 over the parentheses, 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times negative n is negative 6n minus 5. Distribute negative 2, I get negative 6n. Distribute that, I get plus 18. I'm going to go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, combine my like terms. These are like terms over here. So 6 minus 5 is 1. So now I can do my both sides. I'm going to add 6n to both sides. These cancel this. So I get 1, 1 equals 18. That's not true, so the answer to this is also no solution.
I'm going to distribute the 2 over the parentheses there. I only have that single 2 there. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Minus 3 equals 5x. I'm not going to do anything to this right side. I'm just going to rewrite it. Now I have some like terms. So these are like terms. So I get 2x. 8 minus 3 is positive 5. I'm going to combine these two like terms. That's going to give me 2x plus 5. So now we're going to start solving it. So I could subtract 2x. I could subtract 5. I could subtract 2x. I could subtract 5. It doesn't matter how you want to start it. These cancel and these cancel. So I get 5 is equal to 5. This is true. 5 is indeed equal to 5. That means you have infinite solutions. This sideways 8 means infinite. And that's all we have. Have a great day. Bye-bye.